Lucy Parsons. The voice of the people will be heard. The 20th anniversary of the 11th of November, which has just been observed in Chicago, was a great success from many standpoints, notably among which was the increased number of young people who took part in it. As these years speed by, our comrades' lives will be better understood, their great work for the uplifting of humanity understood and appreciated. This has been the case of the martyrs of all ages, the voice of the people, will yet be heard. November 20th, 1907. It is now 18 months since I published the famous speeches of the Haymarket Martyrs. In that time, I have traveled from Los Angeles, WA Vancouver, BC to New York City twice. I have devoted my entire energies to visiting locals of the AF of L. From those locals, I have received most courteous treatment everywhere. I have credentials from some of the best known central bodies in this country, including the Central Federates Union of New York City. I am continually rapping at the doors of locals, being admitted and selling the speeches. The result is that I have sold 10,000 copies and am just going to place my order with the printer for the sixth edition, making 12 thousand. I regard these speeches as the greatest piece of propaganda, literature extant, and when circulated among organized labor are bound to bear fruit. The Agitator, December 15, 1911. The Haymarket meeting is referred to historically as the Haymarket Anarchist Riot. There was no riot at the Haymarket except a police riot. Mayor Harrison attended the Haymarket meeting and took the stand at the end car 12 for the defense, not for the state. 